Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, the 20th, I think. Today I wanted to talk about my current obsession, which is making socks. I have kind of dove in head first, but I'm also really intimidated by it. So I just want to talk about it, talk about the materials needed. This is basically going to be part one of a series. All right, so first off, I started by making crocheted socks, which I had talked about the pattern for this before. Um, it's the Felici Beginner Crochet Socks, I think. So it's, um, they sell the Felici Worsted on Knit Picks and the We Crochet websites, and then this yarn was the one the pattern was designed for directly. So it's like a worsted weight, and then it's the 75% merino, 25% nylon, just like it would be for a sock yarn, but, you know, much thicker. So, I mean, they're a pretty easy sock to make. My only issue with them is they do stretch out a lot. So when I was actually making them, they were snug and they fit well, and then when I finished them, I started wearing them, they like started getting really baggy and slouchy almost immediately. So I'm like thinking about this, thinking how I can edit the pattern. And I also really wanna learn how to knit socks instead of just crochet socks. So first things first, I have been editing the pattern and I created my first demo of like a it's two strands of sock yarn held together which I think is DK weight ish so it's much more fitted in the foot which is what I wanted and then for the cuff I just kind of did whatever I wanted these ones are almost more of a slipper when you fold it down at the top make me feel like an elf when I wear them actually I only have the one sock done, I'm still working on the second one. So while continuing to crochet various versions of the pattern I'm working on and just editing it each round as I go, I've been gathering the materials for my first attempt at knitting socks. I spent a whole day teaching myself how to use double pointed needles. I've watched probably six hours worth of videos on YouTube. I think I'm ready, but I am gonna just talk through it a bit. So first things first, I bought the needles. So for the needles, I went with the brand, I think it's pronounced Luca, and I have several reviews of Luca products coming soon. So it's, it's spelled L-Y-K-K-E. Um, so I have two different sizes of nine inch circulars, because my first socks are going to be worsted weight socks. So I bought the sizes for those and I got enough so I can make both socks at the same time. So that as I'm following the pattern, I can get up to a certain point with one, then go back to the other sock, keep them even. And they're just, they're so tiny and intimidating and really beautiful, honestly. Like I love the, Lu I love the Luca products. They're so pretty. And then I also bought the double pointed needles in the same sizes, but in the indigo colors. See, they, they, like, they look like blue jeans. I, I'm kind of obsessed, actually. And like I said, there will be reviews coming for those needles and a Tunisian crochet hook from them very soon. I'm still working on getting the footage filmed. But those are what I got for actually doing the knitting. And then my mom, I don't know exactly the full circumstance. I think she bought a bunch of surprise boxes at Michael's or something, and they had these zippered pouches in them. She gave me a bunch of them, and they're like the perfect size to hold a sock knitting or crocheting project. So I'm just, I mean, crazy craft lady. Craftiness is happiness. Worry less, craft more. Crafting queen. Draw, paint, create will not be used for socks, obviously. I mean, I do really like it though. And then the one I'm using for the current project, for the sock I already showed you, is Maker of Pretty Things. And she gave me like tote bags that match it too. But they're like the perfect project bag size for socks. So if you don't have any project bags and you see zippered containers like this at Michael's or the dollar store or Target, I, I know I've seen ones that are, ha that are just plain with no design on them in like a three pack at Target. And I think they were five bucks. This is the perfect size to keep those tiny little projects contained so you don't lose any of your hooks or your needles. These ones are even lined so I could, for this one I'd probably keep markers and stuff in it, but the liner's kind of cool. So there's that. 
Now the biggest problem for making socks is choosing the yarn. Now like I said, my first pair of knitted socks, I'm using a worsted weight pattern. I'm using the rye pattern by Tin Can Knits. And then I'm also gonna do a second pair using a pattern by Marley Bird that is done on double pointed needles. So I can get practice on both and I wanna do rye on the circulars and the Marley Bird pattern on the double pointed needles. Now the issue is that socks generally need nylon content so that they don't stretch out when you're wearing them. They need it to keep them a little bit stronger and also so they don't wear out and pill and disintegrate too quickly because socks are something that people wear pretty hard. So part of that is that when you knit them or crochet them, you use a much smaller hook or needle size than you would normally use for that weight so you get a very dense fabric. But the other part is the nylon content and worsted weight yarns usually don't have that nylon content. Um, most of the time a super wash, which means a wool that you can wash in the washing machine, which again is something you would like for socks, you don't really want them to felt. Most of the time it's just a 100% super wash yarn for worsted weight. So what I did is I ordered some nylon thread. I'm waiting on that to arrive. And from what I read online, it sounds like you can just carry the nylon thread with the yarn while you're making the stitches and it will replace the nylon content you would otherwise be missing. So I'm gonna try that. And for the yarn for the pattern, for the rye pattern, in my stash I have three skeins of this. So it's Frog Tree Petty Boo Worsted. Frog Tree unfortunately went out of business, I think in 2015. Um, this yarn is now made by the company Haiku, and it was renamed, I think it's pronounced Sueno. So like Sueno Worsted would be the same thing. Anyway, it is 80% merino wool that is superwash, and 20% bamboo. So it's shiny and soft. I'm just gonna hold it with the translucent nylon thread just for a little bit of extra strength, and I have a lot of it. I'm a, I, I don't really know how much you need per a sock for knitting. I, I know roughly how much I used for crocheting the worsted weight socks. I used almost 200 yards per sock, which is a lot, it seems like. Or maybe not, I don't know, I mean, the fingering weight yarns that people use for sock making are usually like 450 yards ish per skein for and you can make two socks with it. So I guess 200 ish yards per sock is pretty normal. So in that case I guess I'll be using both of them. So I'll need more yarn for the Marley Bird pattern. I don't maybe I don't. I'll have to see if I have any more super wash in my stash. I might have something that'll work now that I think about it, but I'll definitely have to hold the nylon with it. I don't know if it's super wash. If I do, it's like a mint green color. It's really pretty. And you will see it when I make the socks. If I use it to make the socks, it's so soft. I love it. I had actually bought that yarn for a sweater. I have like six skeins of it. So yeah, so those are the worsted weight socks. For the crochet socks, after I finish this pair, which is like on my second sock, I'm right here. When I finish that pair, which will probably take me another day or two, I'm going to be starting this one. So it's still fingering weight doubled up, and one strand of it is a gray, I think it's called Premier Sock. Is that right? It's the one that has the bamboo in it, so it's 50% wool, 25% bamboo, and 25% nylon. And then the second strand is um, like neon sock yarn. I believe it's merino and nylon. I lost the label for that one. But it's really bright and it should make some really colorful socks. And then my husband picked more of the gray premier sock and then some of the croy sock for his pair. Uh, this one, the colorway was um, blue rag, I think. It's my favorite of the Peyton's Croy Sock colors. Um, and I also have this red one that I'll use with whatever's left of the gray Premier Sock, because I do have a lot of that. I, I kind of want some socks that have like gray toes and heels. 
and then red for the body of the sock because I think that would look pretty cool. I'll probably probably do that pair third and I'll do my husband's socks last because I want to make sure I get the pattern down before I give them to him. It's mostly the heel that I want to change on the crocheted socks. Um, on the first pair, the heel is worked in the round in the original pattern and I just found it I mean, first of all, it's already pilling and I've only worn these once, which is not great. It's just, when you actually put them on, it, it's very stretchy, so you see through to your foot, and I want a more dense heel. So I'm still figuring out how to do that. For, the, for this one, I did, instead of working in the round, I worked in rows, and I... Uh, did my decreases on the corners, and then just worked back and forth in an increasingly small row. And it does seem to be a little tougher than the first pair, but it's still not quite as dense as I want. So I might try slip stitches, like a Bosnian crochet style, because I did do a Bosnian crochet hat once, and it's slip stitches and only, I think it was the back loop. And it makes for a really stretchy but really dense fabric. So I might try that for pair number three. And if that goes well, then I'll do that for my husband's pair. And if it doesn't go well, I'm going to try and do a heel flap in a mimicry of knitted socks. I have not seen any crochet socks with a heel flap. It's, it's like, it seems to be only a knitting thing, which is bizarre to me because with knitting you have to pick up the stitches and a lot of people use a crochet hook to pick up the stitches. But if I'm crocheting and I did a heel flap, it I could easily pick up the stitches, obviously, because it's crocheting and you can work in any direction, in any hole or even any lack of hole. You can pretty much freeform almost any shape you want, so I might give that a shot as well. The final shape of a heel is kind of like a triangle but like a 3d triangle that your foot fits into so it's kind of an interesting shape to try and find a way to fit but I'm still gonna play with it um, so yeah that it's it's something I'm still researching if you will but as I try each step of the process I'm gonna document it and talk about it on here so this was part one of my sock series and hopefully part two will be a little later in the week after I finish the second pair and start on my third. And ideally start the knit one soon. As soon as the nylon thread arrives. Because see with these, since they're two threads of the sock yarn held together, they already have the nylon content. But the worsted weight ones do not. And I might also try to buy some other yarn for socks as well. Just some more worsted weight superwash because I really don't have much superwash. Do some orange. I could do orange socks. I really want... Okay. <laughs> what I really want is to buy the Swish Worsted from Knit Picks and get the colors Pucker and Highlighter and do some really crazy neon socks, but I haven't done that yet. I should really just give in and do what I want to do because I'm going to do it eventually. I don't know. I could buy sock blockers at the same time. We'll see. I'll see you in my next video. I'm pretty sure my next one will be a box opening. I have an order coming in that I'm looking forward to box opening for you. And that one will tie directly into my next um, review, which will be the Luca, either the Luca knitting needles or the Luca Tunisian crochet hooks. I haven't decided which one will come first yet because I have both to review. I do want to separate them. They, it's a little different. So those are the two that are coming up next. Um, beyond that, the Tardy Lamb's Wool, almost done. So that video should probably be out within a week or so. And after that, we'll be getting towards the end of the month, so I'll do my monthly wrap-up video. I hope all of you are having a great beginning to your week. Pretty nice out here, so I should probably go take a walk or something. Um, and I hope the rest of your week goes great. Have a great day, everyone.